Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss. I'm back again with another video. And basically today we're just going to do a quick unboxing of the brand new HTC Evo 3D. Alright? Now, I'm all for it today, but I just came in here in the middle of the night to put this quick video up. Just because a lot of my dudes been hitting me up. They're ready to go and cop this, but they want to know whether I think it's a go or not. And I'm going to just throw this out there right now for y'all. The HTC Evo 3D is definitely a go. Definitely. Alright? So let's unbox this real quick and then we'll see what it looks like, alright? First off the box, as you can see, nothing too fancy, but it's still a nice box though. Way nicer than the original Evo, as you can see with this, you know, with this carton material, the gold green. Yeah, you know, I'm all for the environment and all that, but um, whatever, I wasn't really feeling that box. But this one is a lot better, so let's open it up and see what it looks like. So when you open it up, you're going to get the phone. Y'all know I don't waste too much time with these unboxing videos. You get the carton. Now they are still going green a little bit because they're using this recyclable material for the books and for the USB and the uh, USB adapter. That's it. Nothing else. All right. So that's what you're getting inside the box. So let's take a look at the actual device. First off, as you can see, brand new design, a little bit different than the original Evo. Okay. So I happen to have my original Evo right here. Now, as you can see, the Evo 3D is a little more thin than the original Evo, all right? Still both got the 4.3-inch screen, but it's just more narrow, okay? Now, when I first got the phone, it felt like it was, it felt like if it was smaller because, it, you know, the narrow feeling, and it's a little, it feels a little bit lighter, but at the same time, you got to remember, most of us who had the Evo, y'all already know you got that extended battery on there, so it's going to feel a little bit heavier. So this is the first time I had the regular battery on again in a minute, so it felt kind of light. But when you put the you know regular battery in your Evo, it's the same exact weight, all right. But it's a little more narrow, and it feels a lot better when you hold it. You know, it's still same size screen, but a little more narrow. So now let's take a look at the side of the device. You got the volume up and down. You got the 3D on and off switch, and you have this new button they have directly for the camera. Okay, that's it for that side. On this side, you got the micro USB. That's it. On the top. You got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and you got a new power button now. So let's take a look at the old Evo power button. As you can see, the old Evo power button is kind of small, and then the new one, it's a lot bigger and easier to reach. All right, so I like that, um, that change. That's a nice change right there. All right, so a new power button. On the bottom of the phone, you got the microphone. That's it. To peel the battery off, you know, get a little thing right here. It's very easy. Just pull this down. Battery pops right off. All right. On the back of the phone, you got the two cameras now for the 3D, both 5 megapixel, you got the dual LED flash, alright? The back of the phone is made out of this rubberized kind of material, and believe it or not, it feels great. I almost hate the fact that when they do come out with an extended battery, that I'm most likely going to have to get a new battery back, because I like this battery back right here. This one is nice. Way nicer than the original Evo, that, you know, smooth surface one. You know, this one is way nicer. Now, you don't get the kickstand, but, um... If you look online, they got a lot of cases coming out with built-in kickstand in the case. All right, so that's something that would at least, you know, make up for the difference in that. All right, so let's power it on and see what it looks like. Now, when you turn it on, you see the new HTC Sense right there. I'll give you, give you one more just in case you wasn't paying attention. Boom. Now, I got mine set with the weather. But you can set it to all the stuff. You can set it to just wallpaper. You can set it to... um your friend's feed, so when you turn it on, you see what's going on on Facebook and Twitter and all of that. I'll, I'll put that on for real quick so you can see that. Matter of fact, I'll do that in the real review because I ain't going to waste too much time with that tonight. When I do the real review, I'll get more in detail with all the apps and all that stuff. But basically, as you can see, when you turn it on, you have the uh, four icons right here, which you can um, change, put whatever you want. Say I want to go to phone, just grab, grab the phone, throw it in the ring, take me straight to the phone. All right? So that's a good look. Now, when you turn it on, you see I got the regular screen. You still got the basic HTC widgets. You know, nothing different with that. Only thing is when you turn now, you see you get that kind of 3D, 3D look when you turn in from uh, page to page, which looks really nice. And also when you spin it, you get that carousel view. No lag at all. All right. So now I know what you're saying. The main question a lot of people have been asking me is, is this worth getting? You know, the HTC Evo 3D, if you already have an Evo or if you already have an Evo Shift, should you upgrade and get this one? And my answer to that is, of course you should, because this is the dual core processor 
and this is the regular processor okay so even if worse come to worse and you're not into the 3d and all of that you're getting a dual core processor which works a lot faster take it from me because I got the evil all right and if you got your evil at home you know what I'm talking about when you go in the sprint store try this one out for yourself it's a lot faster and a lot smoother all right and I noticed a lot more things work you know on the original evo sometimes you have a problem getting notifications you know your little bugs here and there they ironed it out nice on this one my if you look at the top notification bar i've been getting notifications all day long as soon as i plugged it in i mean everything is working good let's take a look and see what i got on here right now but you know i got my basic shit got the four square if you're into facebook they have a new facebook app out called uh friendcast you need to check that out it's a nice little facebook app that's nice we got, um, you know, usual Twitter. I got a bunch of Twitter clients on here. I have a new uh, widget called More Widgets. If you look at it, you see how I got all these apps. This is one widget. So I can move that all. All those apps is on one widget. All right, so that's, you know, like I said, when I do the real review, I'll go into more, this stuff a little more deeper. Got a friend cast. Got a new tweet cast. Got the friend stream. Now, you know, you see everything works nice and smooth. All my friends, Facebook and Twitter updates, my calendar, market, YouTube, you know, the, the, the usual apps. Everything works fine. The main thing, though, you know, about this phone that's the, the new hype about it is the 3D. All right. So now, basically, you've seen the videos yourself. You went online. You've seen, you know, you can't see the 3D on YouTube. You're not going to see it. All right. So it doesn't make any sense me trying to show you what it is. But I'll, I'll, I'll pull up one anyway. But you're not going to really be able to see what it looks like. All right. Believe it or not, though. The 3D is definitely a go. Now, when I first got it, I turned it on. I immediately went outside and I took a picture in the car. And I was saying to myself, all right, let's see how this 3D looks. So I took the picture and I looked at it. And I said, okay, it looked kind of like a gimmick, you know, not too fancy. Kind of reminded me of Nintendo DS 3D, which I expected. But I was like, all right, not too fancy. I'm looking at it, whatever, whatever. But when you're moving it around like this, you, as you can see, it moves up. I just took a picture of a TV and all that, you know, nothing fancy. You know, you can't really see it. But when you're moving it around and then you get that right angle, boom, 3D pops out right in your face. And believe it or not, I, I bust out laughing. I was like, oh, yo, this shit is a go. It's mad fun. Trust me. I took a picture in the car. Just took a picture of my steering wheel and the dashboard. When you look at it and you get it in that right angle, it looks like the steering wheel is popping out at you. It looks like the dashboard is a little further away. And there were some people walking by in the background and they look like they were even further away from the car. I mean, it looks nice. For, you know, it's a little gimmicky. Yeah, I understand what people are saying about that, but um, what you expect? This is the first kind of 3D technology. You know, it's brand new. And believe it or not, it's, it's a go. It's a definite go. Now, when I do the real review, as you can see right now, there's no stamp on the back of the phone yet. Because to be fair, I got to rock it for a whole week first in order to, you know, really get a hands-on and make sure. Because I ain't going to just throw it out there and say it's 100% go, and I just got it today. But right now, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this a solid 10, okay? It's exactly like your, your Evo that you have now. Everything that your Evo could do, you could do on this, plus more. And it's a lot smoother, a lot faster. Take it from me. The internet, if you're on Wi-Fi, extra fast, extra snappy, way faster than a regular Evo, okay? And that's because it's a dual process, so you got to expect that it's going to be faster, all right? You get the same memory card and all of that. I mean, this is a go. Now, one thing I can say... With this power button, I said with the camera button actually, I see a lot of people been saying online that they don't like how the camera button is or whatever. Yeah, it's kind of funny because when you're holding the phone, sometimes you tend to press the button like that. But as you can see, when you press the button and the screen is off, doesn't power the screen on. So that's good. So if you're rocking the phone raw dog without a case and you got it in your pocket, you don't have to worry about hitting the button and actually and, you know turning your phone on and killing your battery, right? So the camera button is a go. And the good thing about the camera button, as you can see also, is now on my regular home screen, I don't need to have a camera icon. So that, you know, it's taking up space on my, on my main home screen, I can have my main apps that I use all the time. So when you press that camera button, you feel a little vibration, and you take it right to the camera. All right? And when you want to switch to 3D, just switch it to 3D, shoot the pictures in 3D. And trust me, when you take a picture, you could take a picture of anything. Like, you could just take a picture of inside your house in your living room and when you put it on 3d and you look at it it's gonna look nice it's gonna look a little bit 3d like it's not gonna be if you're expecting to see some 3d like you in the sony imax theater with the glasses and all that it's not gonna be like that but it's a nice touch though it's a nice little touch you know what i'm saying and if you into technology like me 
you're always looking for the next thing. And this is the next thing. So, you know, it's the first one out. So, of course, it's not going to be the best. It's not going to be too, you know, too crazy right now. But it's a definitely a nice touch. It's a nice add-on. And um, if you got an Evo and you got your upgrade, this is it. This is the one you've been waiting for, all right? Because after this, we basically got the Motorola Photon. You know, that's not going to be too crazy. That's almost like another Evo. You know, you got Blackberries coming out and all that. So if you got your upgrade and you're ready to make that move, this is the one you've been waiting for, all right? So you need to go and get this Evo, all right? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving it a 10 so far. Battery life, well, you know, what can I say? Battery life, when I got it out the box, it had half a battery on it. So I've been, you know, when adding all my apps on it, I let it drop, you know, I let the battery die all the way down to the end, and I charged it up to full battery. And that was about two hours ago. So a little bit of battery usage right now. When I get to the real review, I'll let y'all know how long the actual battery is, but I don't expect it to be, you know, the battery to be too great. Because just from the fact when I was downloading all my apps and all that stuff, I seen the battery draining pretty fast, so battery's probably not going to be that great. But anybody who has an Evo knows that, you're going to have to spend a little, you know, a couple of extra dollars and get that extended battery. That's, you know, anybody who uses Evo, you know that you need an extra battery or you need to get a car charger or, you know, keep your USB charger on hand wherever you go. All right. So that's it. So I'm going to get up with y'all next week. I'm going to do the real review. Then I'll go into all the apps and um, I take a whole bunch of pictures and all that. I, when, I, when I leave here, I'm going to go in the car, I'll do the video test and we see what the video look like. All right. Now, as far as accessories, ain't really too many accessories out. But if you got your original Evo and you have your HTC case, this HTC case, it fits right in there because it's a little bit narrow, but fits right in there. So that's a go. Got the car charger and all that. But one major accessory that you may have to get, out of box Defender. Now, y'all know I'm a big fan of Autobox. Y'all seen it on the iPad. Y'all seen it on the iPhone. And y'all seen this one I got on my original Evo. You know, y'all seen all the out of boxes. This one is no different. So let's open it up and see what that looked like real quick. And spend too much time on this. Now this one is cool. As you can see, it's just as big. You know, two part, two part case. It looks like, yeah. Okay. So you got the clip, you got the case, and you have the screen. And it also comes with a screen protector. So it's about forty-five dollars. It's going to run you. But anybody who has an Evo knows that the most important thing that you got to protect on your Evo is these camera lenses, all right? Because if you got the original Evo and this camera lens gets scratched, your pictures are gonna be washed up, all right? So when you get that Evo 3D, make sure you protect that camera lens, all right? And of course, if you know me, you know I like out of box, that's the best thing to protect that camera. You're not gonna scratch it with a case like this on it, all right? So now I'm not really too big on the clip, I might not rock the clip, but just drop in the hand and drop in your pocket like this, all right, so that's a go, all right? Scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving it a 10. Y'all already know how it is. Shout out to all my new Facebook friends, you know what I'm saying? Y'all already see how we doing it on Facebook. Everybody who hit me up, you know what I'm saying? I'm hitting everybody back and all that. If y'all see some new shit posted on my wall or whatever, or y'all got any questions or whatever, hit me up, send me a message, or, you know, drop it on the wall, you know how we do. Shout out to everybody on Foursquare and Twitter and all that. I see y'all out there, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next trip, all right? Deuces.